on April 14, that just two days from now, the newest installment of the Fast and the Furious franchise comes out to theaters near you. Or if you don't live in America a couple of days earlier or a couple of days later, depending on what the studio does. At the same time, you may be expecting a nasty opening remark from me, but for this movie, you don't get one. Because I have nothing nasty to say about it. And if you want something nasty, why... Uh, you can actually watch this movie. It's nasty and it's good in its own way, in a good way. But we liked it. Uh, we got to see a midnight premiere of it a couple of days... Uh, last, last night. Last night. Last night. Midnight premiere, man. And uh, so well, that means so for two whole days you get to figure out whether to not spoil this movie for you or not. So, But we're not going to do that. Because this is the movie that should not be spoiled in any kind of way. So if you actually run into a spoiler review, don't watch it because it's going to ruin the movie for you. It's going to raise your expectations in a way that every movie raises your expectations. That's what critics do, that's what reviewers do. They raise your expectations, you expect something great from the movie and then you end up disappointed because the, movie, the said movie did not live to the expectations that were given to you. This movie rocks from top to bottom. They did the seven when they did the seven. I'm a fast and the furious fan, if you would. They both are in a way, except four. That movie sucks. No, four was a good one because he I don't remember them. it, man. He I don't remember. He, he ushered them into the storyline. That I don't even remember number four. That's why it here, sucks. Even here now. Well, not to go into the Fast and Furious four because this is eight. So this, that was four movies. Fast 8, Fate of the Furies, Fury Road. Oh, After the movie. 7, you kind of wonder what can they do with the franchise? What Can they, can they really make it a better one? And yes, then, they can. Yeah, and then we did, when they released the trailer, they all had us wondering what they... What, what exactly is going on? Yeah. What is happening? We saw the... What happened to the family? Yeah, family comes first. You saw, trailers gave you something, which is, this trailer gave you exactly what it was supposed to, to get you to go and watch the movie, and to keep you second guessing. I saw, unfortunately I saw the trailer once, because I don't like watching trailers, they just ruin the whole thing for you. But this trailer gave you exactly, it gives you a snippet of what is going on, and makes you wonder what the hell is going on in the movie. And, and they did a really good job. Yeah, and we're gonna keep you wondering because we're not we're gonna, not gonna spoil anything for you. I mean, we're not gonna give you any plot lines the, that are not dictated in the trailer. Yeah. In the trailer you saw cars dropping off the skyscraper or whatever, the building. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, you not, saw the, you the, you saw the crazy submarine thing on the ice. <laughs> but that happens, spoil it's for you. spectacular, just like the rest of the movie. The movie starts very much like any of the first the three movie, movies. Yeah. And then it uh over movie pays the homage to the start. And it just it doesn't only just keep the family theme going on, despite what you saw in the trailer, but it actually pays a nice tribute to the first three movies where it was about racing and about cars. Yeah, pretty much. And we get to see a part of that, but then of course Charlize Theron comes in and things start to happen. And then all hell breaks loose. Loose, pretty much. And, and then he breaks loose a couple more times nice. during the movie. And uh, she's, a, as you already know, she's a villain. She's a great villain. She has a nice arc to it. To she her. has a nice villain and she's tied into not just what's happening in this movie, but what happened in the previous movies. So as far as villains go, There's, she's a great villain. Oh, yeah. And they had a nice way of actually tying a bunch of previous movies together. And uh, just... Continuing not just the storyline, but things that happened, and uh, there was a thing with uh, Rock and uh, Statham that happened in uh, the trailer too, and that, that that's an amazing scene. And uh, can we just thank the two writers of this movie, oh, yeah. uh, because the two of them, uh, Gary Scott Thomas and uh, Chris Morgan. They wrote I, the best one yet. I don't know. You, do you I don't know what they were drinking or smoking, but we the lines, nothing because they really wrote a good movie. The lines they wrote, they wrote for The Rock. One-liners deserve Oscars, and the lines that The Rock delivers is simply genius, just uh, amazing. Listen, so the plot is 
No, don't get us wrong. There is like cheesy. There's oh, you cheesy get a lot of cheesy one-liners, but man, they cheesy. Uh, like, they're really cheesy. Listen, uh, like they got... I hear, I hear. There's an opening at the Expendables. If they decide to get the Rock, they're welcome to it, as well as the Rock. Um, as long as they and they might even bring Chris and Scott to write it. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised. They definitely uh, after this movie. <laughs> this is. I, I was gonna like the movie left me a little bit underwhelmed in some aspects because I think it dragged a little bit too long. But I don't think it if it yeah. But if it had been a little bit shorter, I for think the we stuff that missed happens that, yeah. in the movie, for them to truly give you everything that they wanted to give you to deserve yeah. to, the movie just is just long enough. So if being longer would have been too much, being shorter they would have to take something out of it. They would not make the movie as good. Because every character that shows up, they play off each other. And they in, in in a really, really good way. They feed each other. You see every character that shows up in the start of the movie plays a role later on. Every character that shows up and they bring a couple of new characters in here. You wonder what Helen Mirren's doing. She has... <laughs> she has she's an, Helen Mirren. Yeah. But uh, let's... I mean, there's not really much, like, if you know Fast and Furious movies, uh, you and you don't want to see them, fine, don't, if you're one of those you're missing guys, out, though. Uh, if you're one of those people who wants to see what happens, what ridiculous level they're going to go to next, by all means, you're going to enjoy this one just as much as you did any of the previous ones, if you're one of those people who just watches these movies just because they don't want to miss out on stuff and you feel like it's a torture, I don't know what you do to yourself at night because these movies are thoroughly enjoyable and uh, I mean if you're not enjoying them then why put yourself through the torture of watching them because watching these movies is definitely not a torture especially It's supposed to be fun That's how I started off, that's what they're still doing It's a fun movie that has action to it, that has story to it there, is, there a story. is a story. There is a story. No matter how ridiculous it is, when it comes to the family, they're very yeah. serious about it. And Vin Diesel, it, I mean, he did some acting in this movie. I mean, he wasn't just in there just having fun and like, I mean, he's dumb Toretto that we know, but he's dumb Toretto that we actually but knew too. But he flashbacks to the big old mean one from the first one. And he's the criminal who still jacks up and drug they, And they play that arc to its very, I mean, to its fullest. So, and of course they played the family arc to its fullest too. It's like, because he changed a few people, he changed uh, Paul Walker's character. Like, he turned him around even though he, he was He took the whole franchise. So it's like... From start to finish, there's no, always no, somebody who comes in yeah. who gets adopted into the family, if you would. And they play it off here as well. It's, diff it's difficult to give you a nice review of this without spoiling anything. And we're not going to do Just that. Just because there's so much stuff that we want to tell you like, okay, this is why you should go see it, but then it kind of ruins the you whole already know. Because Listen, you didn't, you didn't you already see it, know. you didn't expect If you're watching this, there's you already stuff know. Gonna, yeah. You already know. It's like it's a Fast and Furious movie. There's a submarine and they're chasing with the... There's a whole, like, could I they mean, top the seventh one? They did, they could, they did. The question only remains is where do they go from here and what happens in the next, uh, Vin Diesel that's already kind of the, movie. the trilogy. So, yeah, there's a, the only question remains is what, what happens next. Uh, and this movie does not answer that question. One bit. Nor should it. It doesn't have to. This was eight. You want to see for the A, we were expecting maybe they put in a... After credit scene to there wasn't announce any. the next one doesn't happen. At least not where we're from. But Yeah, sometimes it happens they're yeah. gonna show a post credit scene on the midnight showing like three days before or two days before the movie comes out for some reason. But uh, if you wanna stick around the music's okay, so it's like It's fast and the furious. He has by this time he actually has a standard. You s expect certain things from him. There's cars, there's cha car chases, there's girls, there's music, and the movie lives up to it. And Introduce a bunch of new characters. And also, well, new location. We haven't seen a movie shot in Cuba in a long time, and uh, I mean it just wasn't done. So yeah, Cuba scenes were very nice. Yeah, 
and uh, Cuban Mile was also very fun. So yeah, uh, go see Listen, the movie. You, check you're it out. You're looking at a great movie that's all around. We're rating it. You want to rate it first? Uh, yeah, I'll uh, give it uh, 20 out of 30. I I mean it's. I gotta go with nice, decent 25. Uh, okay, that's yeah, that's because you, you, go because you know me. I, this is the type of movie that I like. Listen, it's it is and, what it is. Know. It's Fast and Furious. It's fun. It's uh, what do you say, uh, bombastic and. And it raised, fun. it raised the standard to a whole new level. Uh, as far as, as far the Fast and the Furious franchise goes, in go, some of its aspects, yes. Even further, deeper, bigger than the last one. Uh, I don't remains to be seen. And I'm not talking about box office because that's a whole other story. They're projecting it at 380 million worldwide. So, from opening money, weekend or all together? Opening weekend worldwide. Yeah, sounds about right. Should so, get there. Yeah. After the seventh one, you know. But that's not a story I want to go into. Yeah, we and I was about it last gonna, night. Yeah, and I was gonna to, like, where does it go from here? We don't know. It remains to be seen. They can do. They can do just about anything with it, and yeah. At one point they are gonna bring it back home. We didn't see that, so there should yeah. be an LA thing in the next movie or two. But really, whatever they do, they set up a nice stage. And after you watch this one, when you really wonder, okay, what they're doing with the next one, when you see the characters they bring in, you're like, okay, the how, the does, ends, how does just... everything fit together? How about now that you brought these guys, these guys, these guys, how do you fit them all together? Do they play the role in the next movie? Yeah. Okay. You don't want to spoil anything. There's stuff that's happening just, in this movie that's off look, the charts, yeah. crazy. Some of it you've seen in the trailers. Most of it you did not, did not see in the trailer. Most of it you do not even expect Listen, to see. Listen, some of, like, the movie is predictable. Don't get us wrong. Like, it's predictable. Like, you'll see it going places where you think it's going, but until... You'll you figure out stuff that's happening until it happens, before it happens, but when it's but still when it does happen, you still okay. I thought it was gonna happen, but the way they did it, that it happened is pretty crazy. I wasn't disappointed one bit. Like I was like, oh okay, I knew. I was like, they're gonna go there. Okay, they're but here. That's cool. Finally, when they go there and when they come there, the that journey. Was good, is, yeah, the journey that was to good. That and point the is movie great. ends on a nice solid note, like you, these movies usually do. And uh, you expect the family together, you expect a nice and meal and a prayer. You and that's why it. we stuck around for the post credit scene because we knew that they were gonna do another trilogy with it. This is the start of a new trilogy, so it's like we were wondering had they maybe they had a sneak peek or not. They didn't, but you know what? It's, it's cool, it was great. It did not take anything away one, from the movie. One more chapter finished, and another one will open. and. And we cannot wait for you to do. Yeah. So, so go see Fast. Uh, Listen, April's a little slow with the movies, if you would. Yeah. Going your styles out, the shacks out. But there's a couple of movies coming out for. It's not March, it's not May, it's April. Not a lot to move, not a lot of movie to see this year, uh, month. So. Yeah. I will you know, just. Go and uh, watch Fate, Fate of the Furious. Yeah. And if you miss Triple X. As we talked, like, where can this go from here? Go watch, go back and watch that one. So, we'll put the link somewhere around here. And uh, until next time, Bash Bros out.